The new RPG elements in Darksiders 2 have been a welcome addition to the game, and no RPG would be complete without its fair share of side quests. In this video, I'm going to break down a few of the side quests that you can achieve early on in the Maker's Realm, starting with a quest called The Shaman's Craft. Start off by talking to the shaman Myria in Tristone. She'll tell you that she can make you a powerful talisman if you collect three ingredients for her. The three ingredients are Stalker's Bone, Mordant Dew, and Carven Stone. She also tells you to talk to a character named Karn so that he can tell you where to find the three items. Once you receive the quest, head over to the cauldron and you'll run into Karn for your first conversation. A few rooms into the cauldron dungeon, you'll find a stalker as well as some other bad guys. Be sure to watch out for his fast swipes, and once you kill the stalker, you'll obtain Stalker's Bone. Once you finish the cauldron dungeon, go outside and talk to Karn. He'll tell you how to find the next ingredient, Mordant Dew. Mordant Dew comes from big wasp-like creatures called Stingers. The Stingers can be found inside the Drench Fort, but you'll encounter them first on the way to the Drench Fort. Fight them off the best you can to receive the Mordant Dew, and then finish them off by destroying their nest. The last ingredient, Carven Stone, is found at the Lost Temple, where Karn will be waiting to give you further instruction. Make your way through a few rooms of the Lost Temple, and you'll encounter some floating heads called Construct Sentinels. Shoot them with your pistol when they lower their force field, and when you kill them, you'll receive the last ingredient. Once you've collected all three items, return to Myria and Tristone, and she'll give you an item called the Grim Talisman. It helps you to gather Reaper energy with any of your weapons as long as you have the talisman equipped. However, you should keep in mind that by the time you finish the Shaman's Craft quest, you might have found a better talisman than this one. But it doesn't hurt to complete this side quest since you run into all of the ingredients you need in the main quest itself, so you could always just get the Grim Talisman and sell it towards something else if you don't want to use it. The second quest I want to talk about is called the Maker Warrior. Upon your arrival to the Maker's Realm, one of the first people you'll encounter is someone named Thane, who will act as your trainer to teach you some new combat skills for your weapons. But to complete the Maker Warrior quest, you'll have to challenge Thane to a fight, and at first he's not easy to beat. If you try to defeat him early on in the game, your weapons will be super weak, only doing a very small sliver of damage to his health, while one swipe of his axe will destroy your whole health bar, which you get back after the fight. So although it's theoretically possible to beat Thane early on, I would recommend you wait until you're at least level 3 and have some ranked up weapons to try and defeat him, which is around the time you complete the Drench Fort dungeon. The key to defeating Thane is learning how to dodge dodge dodge. Death was actually designed so he can't block, so you'll have to make good use of the evasion maneuver. Anticipate Thane's movements and move in with powerful strikes, and you should be able to beat him relatively easily. This quest makes for some easy XP and some extra combat practice time, plus you'll be opened up to even more of Death's adventure. When you defeat Thane and complete the Maker Warrior quest, he'll give you a whole list of different side quests, most of which can only be completed outside of the Maker's Realm, so you won't have to worry about them right away. You got lucky! Now there is one more side quest I'd like to mention, and it's called the Shattered Forge. Some of you may have encountered the ruins for the side quest on your way to the Drench Fort, but since the Shattered Forge is basically a mini dungeon, it's going to require a little bit more of a lengthy explanation, so I'm going to save that one for another video. So anyway, I hope you all found these quest breakdowns helpful. Please subscribe to my Darksiders show to keep up to date on all of my Darksiders 2 videos. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, this is Strangelove signing out.